Hey guys, Hari here from ecomhari.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create the pre-order button on your Shopify website. So this kind of pre-order button you can create on your product page, which can replace the add to cart and the checkout button. And basically you can also add the message underneath of the pre-order button. For this particular tutorial, I'm going to use the free Shopify app. So let's get started. Let me go to Shopify admin panel and it will look something like this one. Now on the left hand side panel, if you go to apps, click to apps and all recommended apps and then select Shopify app store. And here you just search pre-order and enter. And you will find a bunch of apps which can allow you to enhance the functionality of pre-order. For this particular tutorial, we're going to use this app, which is free of cost right now when I'm creating this video. Essential pre-order and pre-sale. You click to open it. Install now. Once the app is installed, you can see here, also on the left-hand side panel, you can see the app is there. You can pin your app to navigation. Create the new campaign. And basically, it looks something like this one, which will replace the add to cart button to pre-order. First of all, you give a title. So now you have three options, show pre-order when product is out of stock, which is my default option, which I would like to go with. Also, you can go with always show pre-order button in case if you are selling the products which require to be ordered and then you can ship to your customer. Show pre-order only when product is in stock, which is not relevant. So I would rather go with the first option. Also, you can set the limit inventory for pre-order, something like limit five. If the available inventory is five, it will start showing the pre-order. So I will untick for now and go to button text. So instead of pre-order, I will say pre-order space now. Instead of ship as soon as possible, I will gonna add the same message like this one. You can see on the website. So I just copy this message. Let me close this one. And here I will paste the message. And here I will gonna give at least 10% discount to my pre-order items. If customer is willing to purchase and pay on pre-order, yes, I'm happy to give them discount. So you get special extra discount of 10%. This item is only available for pre-order ships on. So you can put the particular date. If you know that the product inventory would be in stock by this particular date, or if you know that your item would take seven days exactly since you place the order to your vendor, then you can set ships after seven days or something. So in my case, this date is okay. And then I scroll down and discount section, I will give extra 10% discount to my pre-order. You can set either full payment or partial payment. So in this case, you see this product, if customer try to purchase, they only have to pay the partial payment, like something like 20% here. And the rest of the payment would be charged on particular date. You can set that kind of functionality as well. So simply select partial payment and you charge 20% payment now. And then rest of the payment would be charged after seven days, which is fair enough. It looks something like here. So you can see how does it look like and then go to design. Here you can change the color of your pre-order message as well. So something like blue color if I want to set it to. And if I want to set the same color to my price as well here. So I increase the font size, maybe 22 and the same color. And also if I want to change this payment details color to red, I can set it to something like this one. And once it's set, I go to products and here I can select the particular product or all products depends on your need. So I would like to go with add specific products and continue. And instead of selecting particular collection, I would like to select only particular products. So bad and this particular product I want to add. Now, once I added the product, now it's showing up here, including all the available options and then say changes. And you can now publish these settings. Once you publish, you also require to activate the essential reorder and pre-sale app in front end if you haven't yet. So you can do so by just simply click activating from here. Once you click the activate button, it will open up the front end customized selection. If you go on the left hand side panel here under the app embeds, you can see this app is now enabled. Simply save changes. By the way, guys, if you don't know me, myself Hardy from ecomhardy.com, I create WordPress and Shopify based tutorial videos on the YouTube channel as well as on Facebook and Instagram. And also I 
have the website called ecomhari.com where I provide the free Shopify and WordPress related tools where you can access all these tools here on the menu bar, free tools, and you can use any of these tools for free of course. You can also go to WordPress where you can find the useful code snippets. You can enhance your WordPress website. You can also check out the step-by-step -step guide on make a WordPress website. Or if you are a Shopify user, you can always go to Shopify here and check out make a Shopify website or even custom liquid codes to enhance your Shopify website. If you go to shop section, I provide few services. You can hire my services just buying from here. You can leverage my expertise in WordPress and Shopify. And now once everything's set, you, what you can do is you go to your website and search for the particular product you added in the pre-order in there. And this is the product I have added for pre-order. So I simply select that. And now you can see here shows something like this one pre-order. You got a special extra discount of 10% and you can see the price has been reduced from 25 to 10% off. It looks good if I select pre-order now. It will add to cart. You can view the cart and on the cart page, you can see there is a note called pre-order. There is a parcel payment note here. I also apply the 10% discount automatically. And if you scroll down here, you can see there is a notification that one or more items in your cart is recurring or default purchase by continuing. I agree to cancellation policy and authorize you to charge my payment method at the prices, frequency and the date listed on this page until my order is fulfilled or I cancel if permitted, which is very good. So it awares your customer. Now you just simply check out. You can see here customer only has to pay 20% or whatever amount we decided and the rest of the payment would be acquired on the particular date we set. Once customer places the order, let me show you how does it look like. So if I go to Shopware Admin Panel and here on the Shopware Admin Panel under the orders, you see this order is received in pre-order. So if I go a little bit right, you can see under the tags, it's from the essential pre-order. That means the order is on the pre-order stage. And once the item would be available in stock, I uh, will ship it as soon as possible and customer will receive it. Meantime, it will acquire the rest of the payment and good to go. So that's how you can create the pre-order button on your Shopify website. And hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. If you think so, please show your appreciation by thumbs up to this video. Subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon if you are here for the first time and if you don't want to miss my future videos. Also, you can always comment me in comment box below if you have any questions or suggestions. Until next time, see you, take care and bye-bye.